Hyvä. Hei, Okay, so we are here with Jussi Mäkinen. Hello. And uh, the fantastic N900. Yes, uh, N900 and the MIMO 5 operating system. Right. So it's an operating system that has close as desktop experience on your mobile computer as you can get. So basic thing, we have a panoramic desktop. So you can customize up to four uh, home screen slices with all the, all the content that you want. So for me, example, there's an RSS reader, a couple of shortcuts to web, web pages. I got my uh, Facebook status updates coming from my friends, also Twitter updates. So these are uh, applications made by the community. So um, this is the way that the uh, desktop works. What is really cool is the uh, multitasking. So we call this a dashboard view. So with the dashboard, you can jump between different web pages, different applications, very seamlessly and effortlessly. For here example, my uh, colleague has sent me an SMS. Hey, you say, will come with. Hey. Hey man, I send it and you can see by the screen dot here that I'm online and my friend is online as well so we can exchange uh, messages through Google Talk, Ovichat and Jabber account. Are they all integrated in this one? Uh, they are integrated all and also we have Skype calling and Skype chat so uh, I can show you about my my friend's contact so we have this kind of contact card so this it's not only about sms or calling you have your skype call there google talk and skype and you have also address and nickname so this is a very lot of information you can put about your friends so here can you customize those you can customize those so you can put whatever kind of info like here is a good example about all the and here you can see notification uh the De demo answered me so I can I can uh, go and see, and it's it's right here in this uh, notification demo. Yes, sir. So, and you can do all this at the same time. Uh, you don't need to close applications. You can you can see your web pages. Zoom in. Zoom out. Go back to uh, conversation change between different applications and all, all the uh, messages that you have are like threaded so you can easily see all the things that you're uh, talking with your friends of course this is a multimedia computer as well it wouldn't be anything without a very good camera so we have five megapixel uh, camera here in now it's in widescreen mode let's take a picture and it can automatically fetch geo tag so it's it knows that we are in germany like here germany oh, and the place okay. the name of the place so it's it's kind of it has this kind of intelligence in it so now i can show you how you do a couple of tags to your image this is a pretty cool feature as well tania is demoing so let's be nice and give some uh, demonstration about the uh, chat once again Tanya. So Hello. you're doing the real multitasking while you're yeah. doing the demo. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the real multitasking, yeah. <laughs> Couple of more hours, any more to go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's take the uh, pictures here. Just a couple of uh, available these. So here. And here is the tag view. So you can hear here's just some predefined tag. I would just put Nokia World, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, then some new so demo done. So these are the tags. Now I put done. And now now I have tagged the picture with, with the tag that I chosen. And then if I want to share it, I just click the sharing icon, share with a Bluetooth, email or service. Let's choose service. And I get Facebook as my uh, preferred one. So I can just put a t title and description and it goes to my Facebook wall. Let, so is it so that the N900 doesn't work with the Obi services? Uh, it, it works with the Obi services, so you can use Obi Maps really well. You can use Obi Share and you can also use uh, the files on Obi. Okay. So there are some services, but for music, it doesn't. Uh, we don't support DRM at the moment. So the music store doesn't work yet. Okay. 
Okay. So what it, about application developers? Can they mm. develop already third-party applications? They can. They can. So we have the uh, community called Mime.org, so they can make any applications they want through our kind of development environment. And also we have commercial partners doing applications as well. So it's because it's open source, so we don't restrict the making of the applications in any way. And we are working on to get the Ovi store working with our applications as well. Okay, so when do we see the first Mimo applications on Ovi store? Uh, in Ovi store, that's a really good question. I would say at least in somewhere in Q4. Q4, so before but Christmas. That's a safe answer. Yeah. <laughs> but I can show you where you can find uh, applications already. Yeah, please so do. So it's very easy. You just go to Application Manager. And because this is a Linux repository system, I, we have this kind of, so you can browse between different applications, update your device, or see, see the uh, applications. So I just push uh, the applications. So it shows all the applications that are available. So you can see that there's already a lot of applications uh, available. Facebook services. So are you now on the device or are you on the server? I'm. I'm actually uh, here now. It checks the server. Okay. So that was that was actually in the device, the device applications. But they weren't pre-installed, factory installed. No, no, they but were you not had factory. Installed yeah. Them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just I was just installing them uh, before this demo. So right. now we can check uh, these uh, online repositories. The repository is a world word that means just the basic uh, a folder where you can see what kind of applications are ready. So this is this is how you can how we have uh, kind of grouped them. And now it's automatically updating over the air what new applications are available. So let's say uh, that we want to see uh, games. So now these are all games made by the community. These are still in beta or alpha stage. And this is the repository This now. is the repository online. It's a mimo.org. Mimo, uh, extras repository so you can see all these applications uh, that are there so uh, it's pretty amazing the product is hardly become out but because it's open source it uses Linux there's already a tons of applications these are not yet end user ready but they work and, and they're fun to use for for some users okay excellent thank you <laughs>